solid Tampa Tim. It's two days before Thanksgiving. And on an earlier video on this same excursion, I was goofing around when I heard something jump around. Could have been an armadillo, I don't know. I was and I, I yelled out, Hey Biscardi, is that you? I was just goofing around like that would have been Tom Biscardi. Now I just want to clarify something. I, I'm not picking on anybody, I, on any YouTube poster or anything. Um, I've gotten out of the rant business, so no longer post any that kind of stuff. I just put my videos up and people can judge for themselves. Um, the reason I was goofing on Piscardi is because he he's entered the public, the public domain, the public realm. Set himself up as a celebrity. He's been interviewed on Inside Edition, Fox News. He was involved in the, the Georgia hoax. Some people believe he may have been the mastermind behind it. I, I have no way of knowing any of that. I do know that he has investors. He's got big money behind him. And he seems to make a lot of noise everywhere he goes. So whether he's doing Bigfoot research any good or not, that I don't know. But in a strange way, he's sort of calling attention to it. So maybe, maybe that's good. Uh, if I hadn't seen the Georgia hoax on TV, um, I may not be involved in research. So in a left-handed way, he's kind of shaking the bushes. But the real heroes in all this are the real scientists, like Dr. Jeff Muldron, Dr. Esteban Sarmiento, uh, eminent PhD scientist, who risk, uh, cr risk credibility and um, professional esteem by even remotely associating themselves somehow with, with Bigfoot research. Um, Sarmiento does it from a strictly scientific way. If there is something that someone wants him to examine as a scientist, he will. Same thing with Jeff Melder. So, so as, as far as I'm concerned, their, their credibility is intact. But again, just by associating with it, they do run a certain degree of risk. And those are the real heroes here. And they're, I don't think they're out to make money. I know I've, we've seen Meldrin and some Anto in the Monster Quest. I don't even know if they pay people to do that. So I don't, I don't think it's about money. Um, some people say with Biscardi, it's all about money. So I just wanted to settle that issue by letting you know that once somebody, in my opinion, once something is in the public realm, celebrity status, eh, it's a different, different set of rules as far as making fun of them or something. So I'm going to try to just leave YouTube posters alone. They ain't hurting nobody. They're just putting up posts. You can look at your videos, not look at them, whatever. Anyway, that's about it.